Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this quick video, I want to show you a new particle system I've been working on, and we're going to create a nice flame effect together, as I think that's pretty much the first one that everyone creates. So let's roll the introduction and let's get right into it. Now, I've been working over the past couple weekends on this particle system. I just released it a few hours ago on GitHub, but I thought I would do a nice quick video on it. The one thing I do want to mention is we definitely need to have Game Maker Studio 2.3.3, and I will update the readme to say that. And the reason is because this particle system uses a lot of optional parameters. So to get started, we go over to the release tab and we download this YYMP. Once we have it, we can either drag and drop it into our project, or we can come up to tools and just say import local project and we want to import that specific one right here and this is what yours will look like you just want to make sure you grab the particle systems and then you would say import now i already have it in mind so i'm not going to bother importing it but what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new object i'm going to go into my room and i'm just going to apply it to my room so i don't forget about it i'm going to go to the create event and maximize this so to actually get the effects going, all we need to do is instantiate a new effect. So we'll use instance create depth, because that's the easiest one. And what we want to do is put this in the middle of our room. And then we want to make sure we instantiate the right object, which is objects particles. Now to actually see the effect, all we have to do is say stream and stream one particle every uh, step event. So once this is done, you can see that now we have particles moving to the right. So let's just take a look at how easy it will be to transform this into a flame using this new system. So the first thing is going to be that the fire actually goes up. So let's set the direction to 90 degrees so that our flame is going up. And let's set the speed of each particle between 1 and 3. And now when we hit F5, you can see that our particle effects are now moving upwards. Now, right now the emitter is just a dot and I want it a little bit bigger so we can update that emitter and I'll just do this at the top. I'll say effect set emitter size and you can see right here at the bottom, it accepts the left, right, top, bottom. So think of this as a square. I want this to be 30 pixels, sorry, 32 pixels wide. So I'll use 16 by 16 and I don't have to put in the others. So now if I hit F5, you can see that we have a nice wide flame happening here. And some of the other things we need to do is going to be set the life of each individual particle because I don't want them all ending at the same time. So I want to say end between 30 and 50. And since we're talking about randomizing the particles, let's also set the size of each particle. So we're going to give it a random size between 3 and 6. And then over time, I want it to increase by 0 0.6. So if I hit F5 again, you can see our fire is now coming a little bit to life. However, let's change the color because a white fire right now just really isn't anything. So we can use a few different functions. We can use set color, which will change the color over time. So let's pretend we start it with C yellow and we end it with C red. If I hit F5 on this, our particles start in yellow and then they will end at red. But what I actually want to do is I want to mix two colors together so I can use color mix. And I'm going to mix a orange color together with a red color. So what will end up happening is our pixels are actually going to be a nice shade of orange or shade of red and in between those. Now, really, there's only one thing left to do, and that's change the shape of the fire. So we have access to say set, set shape, and this will use the built-in particle system itself. So if I do something like set the shape to shape flare, we're gonna end up with a huge burning ball of gas. And I mean, that still looks pretty cool, but it's not the effect we're going for. Let's actually make a new sprite. Let's change the size to make it nine by nine. And then here comes the amazing pixel art that we're going to need. All I'm going to do is draw a white X like so, copy and paste it four times, then take my eraser and change those X's into arrows so that they all point different directions. And then here is the secret. We're gonna go up to FX and click on blur, apply to all frames, and then we're going to change the intensity from one to two. You might wanna do three, but I'm gonna pick two and then just say apply. And you can see that each frame has been blurred. Now I want to make sure that I name the sprite appropriately or else I will forget about it. So I'll say particle fire. I'll copy it and go to the create event. Instead of using set shape, let's do set sprite and we will pass in our sprite there. 
So if I hit F5 right now, this is our fire. And I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but all we really need to do is to come in here and change the number of particles that we are creating right at the start. Now we're using eight particles, and to me, that actually looks like a pretty good flame. So hopefully you can see that we didn't really write a lot of code. And the nice thing about this particle system is if this object, object two, which is the one we're working on, if that gets destroyed by going to a new room or you actually call the instance destroy event, the particle system itself will be automatically cleaned up and freed from memory. So you don't actually have to remember to do a whole bunch of memory management. It's done for you. Anyway, you'll be able to find all the links in the description below. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already subscribed. A special shout out to the following users who support me through Patreon. Victor, Alex, Ian, Robert, Yato, Ashby, Paul, Annie, Timothy, and Edward. Once again, everyone, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next video.